Welcome back to Block TV. It's time now for Blockheads. We take a look at all the biggest headlines from around the crypto sphere. And with us today to break it all down is our very own Whitney Deal. Whitney, what have you got for us? Hey, Asher. Crypto Slate reports altcoins post double digit gains as Bitcoin accelerates past 7,000. While the Block Crypto informs us that HTC releases smartphone with Bitcoin full node capabilities. Cointelegraph brings us the latest on the Facebook coin with U.S. Senate Banking Committee, presses Facebook for info on crypto project, and AMB Crypto brings us Binance hack update. John McAfee promises to catch perpetrators and, abs and absolve Binance of blame. All right, well, it's big news around the crypto sphere. Bitcoin's cleanly broken 7,000 and still can, seems to be generally on its way up, but is it good news for everyone? Well, um, altcoins across the board are on the rise as well as Bitcoin. Uh, in altcoins including Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, uh, and Binance Coin are surging as Bitcoin ascends past 7,000. Overall, despite general increases, altcoins have been losing ground when compared to Bitcoin as a whole. And when compared to statistics from last year, Bitcoin represented around 40% of overall market capitalization, while today that number is hovering just below 60%, representing a boon for Bitcoin maximalists. And certainly a rise that those Bitcoin maximalists will be happy to see. Our own Joe Saz, one such person, will be very happy to see such stats. All right, now on to the ever-changing world of the phone market and how they might be adopting to uh, help out the crypto community. HTC announced yesterday that it will be releasing new smartphone, the Exodus 1S, that will have full node capabilities for the Bitcoin blockchain, enabling users to verify transactions through their device. This would make the Exodus 1S the first of its kind to possess full node capabilities. Phil Hen, a decentralized chief officer at HTC, noted that the company wanted to build something on top of the Bitcoin architecture at the Magical Crypto Conference in New York, stating, we gave users the ability to their own keys, and now we've gone one step further to allow users to run their own full node. We are democratizing access to the technology for a free world. The plan to launch the device by the third quarter in an expected price range of 250 to 300 US dollars. Certainly bringing a democratic process uh, to the world of phones, although I guess only if you buy HTC. So uh, <laughs> they'll keep you locked in a certain degree. All right, now everybody wants to know what's happening with this Facebook cryptocurrency, Facebook coin that might be coming out. Even now, the US government seems to be getting involved. Yeah, the Committee on Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs of the US Senate is seeking information on Facebook's reported Facebook coin project under the code name Project Libra. In an open letter to Zuckerberg, the Senate has asked him to share details of the measures that will be taken in terms of consumer protection and how Facebook plans to protect consumer financial information and whether um, Facebook shares or sells consumer information with unaffiliated third parties. The committee also seeks to find out whether Facebook has had any information on individuals' credit standing, credit capacity, credit worthiness, or information that could affect their ability to secure credit. This move by the Senate is warranted as just last year, the social media juggernaut became embroiled in several scandals surrounding the user data privacy. And for anyone who's ever had their identity stolen or their privacy breached, this is crucial information for any consumer to have in order to make an informed decision. We're monitoring, monitoring the developments and we'll report further as more developments come to light. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out and whether we can finally get some information on uh, Facebook and what they're actually intending for their own crypto coin. All right, now, John McAfee, never far from the headlines. What's he up to now? <laughs> uh, following the Binance hack, uh, CZ Steadfast reporter, the one and only John McAfee, has reassured his commitment to identifying the hackers in a recent interview, revealing that he will be liaising with CZ to find a proper resolution for the hack, stating... My goal is to find the person responsible for the hack and make sure that people don't blame Binance. This is what I've been doing my entire life and you cannot run and hide from me. In addition to sympathizing with Binance users, McAfee advised people to spread out their investments and avoid hard losses, telling viewers in the interview to expect a Bitcoin credit card launch within the year and hinted at a launch of three new projects that will change the face of trading in crypto. Binance, with the help of the online community, has identified wallets that allegedly contain almost 6,000 stolen BTCs. 
stopping any withdrawals until they are recovered. For now, though, we sit and wait for an update regarding the steps being taken to apprehend the hackers. Well, we'll have to see if John McAfee can be that edge that gets the solution ready uh, to this Binance hack and really finds out what happened in the long run. All right, well, thanks to our very own Whitney Deal for breaking it all down for us. And please stay with us at Block TV. You can follow us Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let us know what you think of the top stories of the day. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, keep watching us at blocktv.com. I'm Ashley Westrop-Evans. Thanks for watching.